In this second video, we're going to be looking at how we can resize objects in Blender. We're going to be doing this by creating a very simple tree. When you load up Blender, you have your splash screen in the center. Now to get rid of this, just click to the right. And now we have our 3D viewport with three things. We have a light source up here, which I'm right clicking to select. We have a cube in the center, which I'm right cl clicking to select again. And we have this camera, which I'm right clicking to select once more. If I go back to my cube in the center, um, I'm just going to cover very briefly how to add other objects. So I'm going to delete this one by hitting the delete key on the keyboard. There we go. And confirming that. OK. Pressing enter. And it's gone. So to add another cube or other shapes, we go to create on the left hand panel here and we just go cube and our cube reappears. You're probably thinking that doesn't look very much like a tree and you're probably right. So what we need to do is we need to resize this shape to make it a little bit more like a tree trunk. We're going to add the branches and the leaves to the top using other cubes. So I want to squish this into the shape of a tree trunk. And to do that, I'm going to use these handles. And as you can see here, we have a blue handle with an arrow, a green handle with an arrow, and a red handle with an arrow. Well, these arrows, as we know, allow us to move things. But also, if we use this panel down here, we can change what these handles do. So instead of having arrows, we're going to have little cubes on the end by selecting this one here, which is like a line with a cube on the end of it. And now this allows us to squish and stretch this shape into whatever shape we want it to be. So at the moment, if I look at that there and I make it a bit taller, that's starting to look a little bit more like a tree trunk. And if I use my middle mouse button, I can rotate around the, sh the shape and we can see what it looks like. Well, okay, we're getting there. Um, what we probably need to do though, is we need to start adding some stuff to the top of it, some, some branches and some leaves. As I said, this is going to be a very simple tree. So we're going to do that by just adding some more cubes. Now, if you notice, if I left click on the screen, this little cursor, this little circle follows my mouse. So wherever I click, the cursor goes. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to select where you want to add more objects. If I click there and I go to create cube, the cube appears where I clicked. If I click there and I go to create cube, the cube appears where I clicked. Now, that's looking okay at the moment, but because it's 3D space, it can get a bit confusing. So if I, again, push the middle mouse button down, I can rotate and see, well, this cube is actually below the tree and that's uh, not quite on it either. So, using our panel down here, we have several things we can click on. I'm going to go back to my move or my arrow button. If I click on that, I can start to move these cubes by right clicking on them and using the arrows to drag these cubes around and I can start to build up something that resembles a tree or a very, very basic tree. I think we're going to need one more big clump to add to this. So again, click here, go to create cube. The cube appears there. I can now move this up move it over here, bring it out a little bit, move that across, and we're starting to have something there which resembles a tree. It looks pretty good from this angle. How is it from the other angles? Always check. It's very important that you rotate round your models to check that everything is as you think it should be. So if I rotate round, you can see, oh, wait a second, it looks good from this angle, but over here, it's not looking very good at all. So from this angle, I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to move this one across a bit and this one across a bit. And how's that looking now? Still a bit tree-like. Uh, I may move this one here just a little bit to the side. And all of a sudden, I have something which is looking quite tree-like. Now, as you remember from the last video, what really matters is how we see it from this camera. To see it from the camera, I hit F12 on my keyboard. And you can see, ah, OK, we've got a problem there. We've got a problem because we can only see the bottom of the tree and not the top, and it doesn't look very tree-like. So what I may want to do is hit escape, and I may want to move these things around a bit. So I may move that one back there, I may move this one across here, and I may play around with this slightly. How's that going to look? That's a bit better. Maybe I want to um, move everything down so I can select these things and I can move them down. Okay. Uh, and let's see what that looks like. Okay. It's not a great tree, and I'm sure you can do better, but it's a bit tree-like. And what you may want to play around with, of course, is you may want to move the light around a little bit, just to give it some different lighting to see what it looks like 
with lights at a different angle. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do better than that. But the basics here that we're looking for are using the bottom panel here to either move, like so, or using a different handle, which is this little line with the cube on it, which allows us to actually resize things like that. Let's see what that looks like. Stop. 